Uh, my name is Jerry Connolly Scanlon, and I am uh, Tom's wife and partner in this business. And uh, I'm here at the Dubliner Pub. Um, it was known as the Ace Bar many, many years ago. Mm -hmm. It's 2112. It's not 2112. What? It's 2162 University yes. Avenue. Yes. And as the Ace Bar, I Just learned it went way back. Yep, I ran the Ace Bar for many years. Mm -hmm. I still have all my teeth, that's all I can say about that. <laughs> <laughs> when did the Ace Bar start? Uh, 1983, 83, actually 83, yeah. That's when you took 31 years. That's when I took over, but the Ace Box Bar has been in existence forever. I don't know that they even closed during Prohibition. I'm not sure, but mm -hmm. rumor has it they didn't. Yeah, but it moved from up here, uh, up the street here, uh, Raymond and uh, University down to this building. They'd moved down here in 33 when Prohibition went out. And it's been the Ace Box Bar ever since. And only he's had three owners since that time, which is kind of unusual, really. That is? Yeah. So are you looking forward to light rail? Yes, we are. Light rail very, much, very much so. Yeah, yeah definitely. Mm -hmm. We didn't go through all this pain not to have something at the end of this. <laughs> yeah. No, we certainly are. We I heard there was a rainbow at the end of the rail, so... <laughs> Parking is going to be a problem for a lot of these buildings. Yeah. I, I can see that as the biggest... Uh, Problem for small business along the end. I don't think they've addressed the parking very well in the city. Oh, do you see if any community lots or anything going up there? So, what would you say you contribute to the community that maybe nobody else does? Well, we give them, uh, everybody comes in here, they're happy when they leave. <laughs> <laughs> they better be. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I mean, uh, we contribute quite a bit to the community, yes, really, you know, because we support a lot of organizations and we donate to a lot of organizations that look for help, you know. Very few people get turned down for help here, you know. So. And I think there's a wonderful immigrant experience here mm -hmm. um, and a, a good understanding of, of how people come to you and um, take on difficult physical labor and work their way into a more comfortable life. Tom is a great example from the 60s. He came here in 65. Um, and many of his family came afterwards. Some were here before. But I think he contributes that um, the kind of strength of, of an immigrant. Um, and, and the people he connected with here were the working people of all nationalities. Mm -hmm. His appreciation for that, what each nationality has contributed to America. Minnesota history, St. Paul history, I think that's uh, I think that's a real strong suit. He didn't ever go the uh, you know the bring in the canned Irish experience. He mm -hmm. just is. I mean, mm -hmm. he is what he is.